I'll do it. You, why don't you do it one more time? Ready? Nice and low. Hey everyone, it's Allison and Violet with Peace, Love, and Literacy, and today we've put together a cushioned storage bench. We've been trying to come up with a system for organizing Violet's toys, and I'll show you some of the things that we've got going on, but today we've put together this bench. We're going to show you how we did it. The first thing that we did was cut our foam down to size. So I bought a 3-inch high-density upholstery foam at Home Depot. It was the best price that we found. I looked all over. I looked at Amazon. I looked at fabric stores. I picked it up in store and while I was there I got a big piece of MDF cut down to size to the dimensions of the Clax bookshelf. So what I did is I traced the um, MDF with a sharpie marker onto the foam and I cut the foam with an electric cutting knife just like you would use to carve a turkey. Since this is a no-sew cushion, the next thing that we did was we wrapped some batting, some cotton batting, around the foam and to, to stapled it to the bottom of the MDF. We used a heavy-duty uh, stapler just to make sure that everything stays in place. And then we took the fabric and we wrapped the fabric around and stapled that in place as well. The next step is to secure the fabric. The same way that we did the batting, we're going to do the fabric. Just lay the fabric down, put the foam on top, put the MDF on top of the foam, wrap it, staple it, just like you would wrap a gift. After the cushion was finished, the next step was to put the Kallax bookshelf together. So it was very simple to do with easy to follow directions and it just took us about 20 minutes. After the bookshelf was all finished, we used Kapita legs. It gives the shelf a little bit of height and makes it a nice spot for guests to sit and uh, of course doubles as toy storage. Then we put our baskets in place and we were all finished. Be sure to visit www.peaceloveandliteracy.com to check out the blog. I'll be linking you guys to my Pinterest boards to show you some other ideas for toy storage, but this is what we've got going on in the, in the rest of the living room. So this is a bookshelf that I actually had when I was a kid and I repainted it for Violet. And a lot of our stuff here, a lot of our storage materials also come from Ikea. This nice box holds a lot of things. These were two file boxes that they have there. Their colors rotate. I have some pink boxes that we've used in the past and right now they have these nice aqua boxes. Um, these two clear storage boxes are from Target. They're the pillow fort line. And um, of course, here you can see that we've got some wooden puzzles with lots of pieces that are a pain in the neck to store. So what I did was I got some um, just sort of clear poly envelopes and we store our puzzles in there and just slip them right onto the shelf. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. And if you like the video, click the like button. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Bye-bye. Can bye -bye. you say bye-bye? <laughs>